Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose, I'm Chris Riley, and today we're gonna be going over my top three biggest takeaways from the 2025 ACS guidelines, which were released in February of this year. Now, this is a really big deal because this is the first time that there's a consensus document for cardiology, emergency medicine, pre-hospital, and interventional specialties. So my first big takeaway here is that posterior STEMI is still the most missed. We have to be on high alert for that posterior STEMI by looking at leads V1 through V3 and looking for that 0.5 millimeter ST depression. Remember, these depressions are going to be horizontal. And if you do see these depressions, you should be getting your posterior leads. And once you get those new leads, they're going to replace your V4, V5, and V6 lateral leads. They're now going to be the V7, V8, and V9. If there's 0.5 millimeters of ST elevation in those leads, you should be calling a STEMI alert and sending that patient to the cath lab. Second biggest takeaway, which is a huge one that a lot of people emphasize, including the great Dr. Amal Matu, and that would be serial ECGs. Don't just stop at the first one. If your patient is having chest pain and there are no signs of obvious MI on the initial ECG, studies show that 11 to 20% of STEMIs are actually picked up on a repeat ECG. This new guideline makes this a class one recommendation. And last but not least, if you have your ECG and there's no obvious STEMI criteria, but there are some ischemic changes and your patient has a positive trope, this is technically an N-STEMI or a non-ST elevation MI, and these patients are at high risk. And if these patients continue to progress to shock, acute CHF, arrhythmias, despite any other interventions, they need the cath lab within two hours. A heparin drip isn't going to do anything for this patient. So remember these three things. You should be on high alert for your posterior STEMIs, Second, serial ECGs. And three, any instability with NSTEMI or any progressive or worsening troponin elevation despite treatment needs to go to the cath lab within two hours. Remember, emergency medicine providers lead the charge in ACS care. We are the first people that see these patients when they come through the door. We are the first people to look at their ECG, start treatment, and define exactly where they're going to be going in the hospital for their care.